D300 driver from Wilson, super light driver, what they call their right light technology. This is the second generation of super light we've seen from them. We're talking about 183 gram head, 44 gram shaft, and 25 gram grip. It's made to increase your club head speed with the idea that the right light can fit the right people. This year, they've added a weight port to the bottom, so you can adjust that weight up. There's multiple shaft options. It's not just the super light shaft. Beyond that, on the top of the club, you have these micro vortex generators. The objective is connect the air, keep it to the club, reduce the drag, and increase the overall speed of any golf. I think everyone knows there's nothing like the feeling of a forged blade. You don't need a ton of frills in the back. You don't need a giant cavity. Just give me a muscle back to hit James, all. James, dude, what? Did you see these? Strix on irons. Z765 and 565 irons. What about the 965? Yeah, that's okay. Maybe for you, somebody like me, I don't need that. But look at how nice they blend together. Look at that. You see that? You know what we can do? We can put together the ultimate combo set. We could use the blades in the nine and pitching wedge where we really want control. And then we can do the 765s and the mid irons. A little workability, a little more forgiveness. And the 565s and the low irons. We can launch the ball high, hit it far, land it soft on the green. What about my X-Flex shafts? Really? X-Flex shafts? Listen, buddy. They have all of these extra shafts, no upcharge shafts that you could upgrade to and if you want your special grips with five layers of tape six and a half they they've got that too sounds good to me all right hybrids make their way into a lot of people's bags here is a new option for 2017 it is from tour edge on their exotics lineup it is the ex10 hybrid now these hybrids they have visible technology prevalent you've got the slipstream sole which has been shallowed out a little bit to really help with that turf interaction also the options are all there. You've got a two hybrid at 17 degrees, ranging all the way up to the six, which is in my hand, at 28. So they have lots of different options that can find their way into your bag. Here's the new Superstroke Cross Comfort Grip. It's a dual layer grip well, with a polyurethane coating on top. The good news of that is it's the same feel that you're already familiar with if you've used a Superstroke grip. The benefit of that is less tension in the hands, same feel, same consistency for all 14 clubs. KBS is really known for their feel and shafts, and after years and years of development, what they've come up with is the KBS Tour Hybrid Prototype Shaft. It's a graphite shaft that's going to provide that same type of performance that you get out of a KBS steel shaft, except it's going to really accentuate the things that people need in a graphite hybrid position in the bag. Uh, it comes from 65 grams to 95 grams. It's available in all the different flex profiles, and this one is gaining a lot of traction very, very quickly. Cure has been known for their oversized putters. They added the Classic Series last year. This is the newest addition to the Classic Series, the CX-3. This one is more of a mallet-shaped design, as you can see. Has a new alignment aid system, which is good. They also added some, a different logo on the bottom and some really some nice milling here on the back that makes it look like a much more premium putter. Also, as you can see, there are eight weight ports in the bottom. That allows for 48 grams of adjustability. So you could really affect the MOI, and if you want it to go over 400 grams in the head weight, you can do that or drop it as low as 360. The other good thing about it this year, all of the Classic Series putters are available in their regular shaft and a center shaft option. The new TP Collection putters from TaylorMade featuring their Pure Roll insert. This is a 303 stainless steel putter. It's skim milled on the face. It's going to provide a very, very consistent roll, a very quick roll. They have adjustable weights in the different models now. Each one is named after a different golf course, a different location. Uh, there are going to be six models total. Right now, initially, there's four. Uh, with it, it's one of the cleanest putters we've seen come out of TaylorMade so far. Uh, a very, very sleek look, a very business look, and there's going to be something a lot of people will be comfortable over the ball with. The Titleist 917, it is an extremely adjustable driver. What's the best way to get into it? It's to go to a Titleist Thursday event, and they have really streamlined the fitting process. Let's take a quick look at what they do. So first off, Titleist has found out that really after 30 swings, a player gets kind of fatigued, so their performance really drops. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a player interview. They're going to find out what you're currently playing. They're going to have you take maybe a swing or two of that just to have something to base their knowledge off of. Now, we go into the head and loft model. They're going to take what they learned from your interview, and they're going to put you in something similar to start with. For me, I've got the 8.5 degree head in my hand. Then we go with the shaft model, flex, and length. Are you a stiff flex guy? Are you an X-flex? Are you regular flex? And what weight are you in? They offer shafts in 60, 70 grams, so they'll find something that could fit you for that. Now next, the sure fit hosel. 
They've got a lot of settings here to help you really figure out where the face angle is going to be. Are you going to need a closed face angle? You're going to want to have something open. You're going to want to bring the loft up or down. Once we get that figured out, now it's time to really dial in that ball flight. We've got sure fit CG in the back of this head. We could put something in a draw setting, we could put it in a neutral setting, or we could put that weight out near the toe. If you're someone that tends to hook the ball, it might help you straighten that out. And then the head weight. Sure fit CG, not just about moving the weight, but we can change the swing of the club. The weights range from eight all the way up to 16 grams in increments of two. So we'll find the perfect swing weight that matches your game. And then finally, the grip. You know, you really want to have something in your hands that's super comfortable. So if you're somebody who likes to strangle the grip and, you know, really have bad grip pressure, we'll put a softer grip in there. If you're more of a guy who likes the player feel, they'll put a quarter grip in there. But no matter what, with the 917, Titleist will find the right driver for you. Here with Tim Gillis of Foresight, and Foresight with the GC2, a lot of traction. I think a lot of people have used it. Now the GC Quad's coming out. Yes, sir. But we. A lot of people don't know what the HMT is. Can you tell us what the HMT aspect of the unit is? Well, the HMT is a head measurement technology that was born out of a request from the OEMs for us to give them accurate data similar to the golf ball data that we were giving them. So what you're measuring is an 18-inch uh, angle of attack. It's going to show your face path. Mm -hmm. And then some of the things that you'll see with us is we put fiducias on the golf club so it'll tri triangulate that golf club, and it'll show the actual impact on the face of the club, where that impact is. It'll show the impact loft, it'll show the lie at impact. Now typically what you see from a lie board is it's after impact, and we've noticed in a lot of photography that after impact that toe bows down. So there can be some inaccuracies on lie angles. So the lie at impact is very important. Then it shows the golf club leaving and how much it's rotating, either opened or closed. So again, you get your swing path, whether it's coming in to out, out to in, and then you get all the club data all the way through the finish of the swing. So all the data that you could ever wish for. Yes, we, we actually capture a lot more data, but we, working with the OEMs, decided there's probably six points of data that most people would understand and that makes it effective in a club fitting and instruction, and that's the data that we put on all the published reports. There you have it. There's a reason that the Foresight is one of the most precise units around. Taking a look at the Puma Titan Tour Ignite disc version of their golf shoe, this one's going to be on tour. You're going to see it with Bryson DeChambeau, Ricky Fowler, has the Ignite foam in the bottom. For guys who don't like to tie their shoes, it's gonna be simple. You just give it a couple clicks to the right to tighten it up, one to the left, and that'll loosen it. But if you don't like to wear spikes, we have the Titan Tour, or Titan Ignite spikeless extreme shoe here. This one is a spikeless version, a lot more Ignite foam along the bottom. Gonna be really comfortable, nice lightweight top, and this one's gonna be, get you ready to go on the course. Okay, later this year, we are going to Vegas, right? We're going to Vegas. We're, we're going, going to Vegas. Have, we're going to have some fun? We're going to have a lot of fun. Lot. Now, well, marketing's going to have fun. I don't know about R&D, but... We're just going to win, probably. Yeah, okay. Minimal fun, some fun, all winning. So, who do I want to be on? What team? Do I want to be marketing? Do I want to be R&D? That, that look, that kind of scares me. I'm a little embarrassed for that's you even for asking. I mean, that's a ridiculous question. First off, he is a lot bigger than you. See? Yeah, but, the, but from a good look standpoint, there's really no comparison. I'm not going to so. comment on that again because he is uh, a lot bigger. There's really only one team. It is the marketing team. We have the best talent. We know how to have a great time. Marketing's going to win. That's, that's the end of the day. It's the worst sales pitch ever. Do you want the best stuff? Do you want the newest stuff? We're going to actually do you want the best stuff. Do you want stuff that no one's ever seen before? Yeah. You want innovation. Do you want something that's really seven, but they say it's ten? You go to marketing. All right, well, I'm having a hard time picking my team. We're going to find out what team you guys will be on, and you can join us in Las Vegas. Team marketing. You know, it's not very often that you can cheat and feel good about it or get away with it. But in the case of golf, we have a set of clubs this year, which if you buy, can feel like you're cheating, because it literally is buying a game. If you want to have more, vers more forgiveness, more speed, more launch, use the King Oversized Iron. Check this out. It's a, it's a normal looking iron on the outside, but there's so much technology going on. All of the irons, all the way down to gap wedge, are 100% hollow full chamber irons. That means you're gonna have an iron that has all kinds of technology inside. In fact, you see this little piece right here I'm gonna pull out? This is an 80 gram tungsten piece that sits in the toe to pull CG to the toe for more forgiveness and push it all the way back to give you launch. It doesn't end there. I talked about this being the largest iron we've ever created. Check out this face. 
It's the, it's, it's, it has a, some similarities to the original oversized iron back in the 90s, but it's the largest face we've ever made. You want to see how large it is? Here's the F7 face on top of it. Give you an idea of how much larger this face is. It's cheating. It's going to help you so much. But what we do is we, we set it up so it has a wide sole, wide top line. It's very confidence inspiring. It's going to do exactly what you want it to do. Hit a lot more greens. King oversized irons. Golf is such a feel game, and as we get closer to the hole, our feels change. One thing we like about the Cure RX series is it allows for a lot of weight variations. Yeah, a lot of weight variations, and it's not just about heavy, it's not just about light, it's about finding what works for you. Because when you find what works for you, yes, the MOI does go up, but it's also going to decrease the window of face angle misses. It's going to make it a more accurate putter for you, not for someone else. It's all about the individual. So on plenty of options out there in the driver market. This is the 765 driver. It's got a nice pear shape to it. It's very low spin, has the power wave sole, a lightweight crown, and the stretch flex face cup. That makes it a very forgiving dryer, very low spin, low launch. But we all have those days where we're not striking it as well as we want to, and we want more forgiveness. For that, we have the 565 driver. The same technologies, the power wave sole, great for miss hits low on the face, gives off a lot of ball speed. A little bigger shaped head, great ball speed, very forgiving options, a little more spin, gonna be helpful. We wanna thank you for taking the time to watch our coverage of the 2017 PGA Merchandise Show. We hope you've all enjoyed it because personally, I know I did as well as my friends behind us. From all of us here at thehackersparadise.com, we want to say thank you and goodbye from the 2017 PGA Merchandise Show.